Oh, did you eat? Sorry, I had another bite. Mm -hmm. It's, it's so just good. Don't buy. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Satoshi. Shinichi here and today we are making the most fabulous plate of mentaiko spaghetti. Let's get started. First, we need one serving of spaghetti, 50 grams of mentaiko, one and a half tablespoon butter, five perilla leaves, and thinly cut nori. First, thinly slice the perilla leaves. Carefully scoop out the eggs from the sack and place in the bowl. Add the butter and set this to the side. Fill a pot with water and bring it to a boil. Add a pinch of salt and cook your spaghetti until al dente. We like to cook our spaghetti just a minute shorter than what indicated on the package. Once it's done, take it out and drain well. Immediately out the spaghetti into the bowl with the mentaiko and butter and toss to coat. Transfer to a plate. and top with the perida leaves and nori. Finally, top with the dalap of mentaiko. Enjoy! So, mentaiko spaghetti is done! That looks awesome. That looks so good. Alright, itadakimasu! Oh, it looks so good. This is the easiest Japanese style spaghetti. I love mentaiko pasta. Mentaiko spaghetti. Mmm! Mmm, it's amazing! Mm. I know that fish eggs sound kind of weird to some people, but it doesn't taste fishy at all. I think the perilla leaves, they're called shiso in Japanese. Um, if, you, if you can find them, make sure to use that. That gives a really nice herbal flavor to the pasta and the nori just adds, you know, seaweed flavor. Yes, <laughs> it's seaweed. <laughs> so we want your help in deciding what to make next time again. We're thinking something pretty simple to go with orange chicken. <laughs> the orange chicken that we made uh, a few weeks Fried ago. Fried rice. Fried rice. Fried rice and um, it's gonna be a spam fried rice. So it's like a Hawaiian style spam rice. It's really really delicious. And the other one is fried saimin. Fried saimin. Yes. Then that's another local Hawaiian specialty. Um, we you, tried you the 7-Eleven. Yeah, 7-Eleven Hawaii food hall. Um, I tried the fried saimin, and I have to say that my version of fried saimin is. Way better. Sorry, 7-Eleven, oh. but you know, homemade is always better. <laughs> oh. So let us know which one you like us to make and let us know what you thought about today's recipe in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to our channel if you haven't already done so. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you guys again for our next meal. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.